Kirkat, back with another video, man. Just uh, about to go hit the gym and stuff like that. And I, I wanted to make another video about discipline and about the black man. And black man about discipline. Black men, we got to start suffering with discipline. Or suffer with regret. That's what we need to do. Because we got to protect our, our families and stuff, man. You know, your boy Kel Cat haven't had sex in like, I don't know how long. Because I've been so focused on saving this money and, and working on my music and stuff. You know what? It's really, it's true about that you cannot focus on women and focus on, on your goals at the same time. Let me tell you, man, I am horny as hell right now. I haven't had sex in a while, but you know, I'm keeping I'm keeping my composure. I'm staying calm, and and I'm not losing focus on my goal. I am a machine. That's how you can look at it. I don't need sex. I am a machine. Just remember all the things that people done said to you. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna. You're not gonna amount to nothing. Oh, you too old to do something. You too old to like follow your dreams and stuff like that. Don't don't pay them. Don't pay them no mind, man. Because they're too old. You're not too old. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be disciplined. That's it. You gotta be so disciplined that you're not even thinking about sex half of the time, or even a quarter of the time. You know what I'm saying? Sex is your biggest enemy if you haven't made it to the fucking uh, if you haven't made it to to, 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 to to success. You know what I'm saying? Even when you are successful, sex could be the enemy. Look at R. Kelly. But he's not successful though. But when he was successful, those uh, allegations didn't stick. Those allegations didn't stick at all. Now he's no longer successful no more in his music career. Now they're coming for him. But enough about R. Kelly. What I'm saying is black men got to be more disciplined than anybody out here. There's a lot of people out here gunning for you. And it's serious. You can't forget about that shit, man. You can't forget about your enemies that are fucking trying to get you every single goddamn day. Trying to get you fired from a job and shit. You know what I mean? You, you can't have a time to relax. You got to do this shit the hard way. Discipline all the way. You know what I mean? Like a bodybuilder. He can't have no snacks or cookies or stuff like that before his extra, uh, before his fucking, uh, before his, 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 his competition. You know what I mean? I won't say expedition, but before his competition, he can't have none of that. No beer, no cookies. You know what I'm saying? A, a fighter can't have sex. 20 days before his fucking fight. Because if you do, you're going to lose. You got to follow all rules. No this, no that, no sex, no women, no, no, no hanging out with the buddies. Spending money that you need to fucking uh, get over in life. People are gunning for you. And it's serious up out here. They trying to get you fired from jobs. They don't want you around them. They don't want black people or black men especially around them. And I know this. I've been in the, the workplace and I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? So, think that. Think about that next time before you do something 
bad that will harm your fucking future. Like, if I'm saving up a music equipment, and all of a sudden I go out, start blowing money on fucking, fucking alcohol and chasing women, ain't that harming my future, right? You're doing something that's harming your future. And the thing is, your family is affected by it as well. Some of you say, well, you know what, man? I'm the only one that's being affected by this. I might as well go blow this money. I'm the only one that's feeling this uh, this pain, or I'm, I'm the only one that's suffering from it. No! Your little nephews, your sister, my sister, my nephew, every, single, every time I go out and I, I, I get off focus, I get off track, they suffer from that too. They're affected by your actions. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. If if a lion doesn't go out and hunt, her her fucking cubs or his cubs are affected by it. They're not gonna his cubs not gonna eat. So as long as you're not successful, your parents gonna suffer by it. Your sister's going to suffer. Your nephew's going to suffer. All the people that that, you, that 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 took care of you when you was coming up, they all going to suffer from it. From always being broke. Always reaching in your pocket and only filling your leg. Always getting discriminated in the workplace. Always got somebody breathing down your neck. Always having to look over your shoulder and shit. Black men, we walk around with eggshells all the time. In the workplace, outside of the workplace. Always wondering if you're going to get fired. People fucking with you on the job. You know what I mean? Because they don't want you around. And you have to think about this next time. It's time to go have fun. So-called fun. Where you're blowing your money. And you're not saving it and you're not investing. Just think about how that motherfucker was fucking with you on the job. How powerless you feel. You know, if you got to go to school, then go to school, man. Get an education if you want to. Get a higher, a higher paying job. So that way when you get let go from a job, at least you have enough money to, to, to fucking find another one. I'm about to go to the gym right now, man. Get this health going. You know. Who want to only keep living with this shit for the rest of their lives, man? At least if you're a rich black, you don't have to worry like that. You know what I mean? You got a peace of mind when you're a rich black. Poor black got the worst life, man. Now you got to give up things. You got to give up going out with the fellas. You got to give out going, uh, going out chasing women and shit like that. You have to give up all of that, or it's not gonna work. Yeah, you, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go out. You, know, you have to uh, avoid buying expensive uh, Louis Vuitton bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Designer clothing. You gotta give up all that shit. I gave up all that shit, man. I don't want to see the people around me suffer anymore. I just don't. I don't want that to happen for the rest of my life, man. Well, I gotta get water. I can't even start my workout without water. And, and, and you know what? I'm just like, it's time to end the suffering. End uh, the end the, the the job bullshit. Cause we're still in this shit, man. We'll still we we're still trapped inside the the, the matrix in, in the system. Man, sometimes you got to cut off an arm or a leg to escape the matrix. You know what I'm saying? And it's not going to happen if you don't become disciplined. I don't care how old you are. If I could change and stop chasing bitches and be horny as fuck, you could do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I haven't had sex in, I don't know, three months. You know what I mean? 
because I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking with my private parts. And I have been slacking, man. I've been slacking. I, I started my YouTube channel a while back with the TJ Muscle. I got off track with that. For some reason, I didn't like my. I didn't like the way my body looked. I got really self-conscious about that. But you have to think about all those things. Like the guy, come on, dude. Like the guy that came by my channel and said he lost his job. And he wanted me to make a video about discrimination against black men in the workplace. You know what I mean? You got to hold a grudge. That's the only way you're going to win. A lot of black folks... When something racist against them, ha uh, when something racist happens against them, we t we tend to forget, or us. When something racist happens happens against us, we tend to go away and forget, and then go on to the next job and try to forget that that that, that happened. You can't forget it. Don't forget that it happened. Don't ever forget that it happened. And you have to keep a grudge. You have to be like, you know what? I don't like the way that happened. I'm going to keep that fucking grudge and I'm going to do better. You know what I mean? Don't let that shit, let, don't let the memory slip from your mind. You know what I mean? So, okay, I'll park now. I can talk better. But you have to, we have to wake up every single day knowing that the odds are stacked against you as a black man more than anyone. So if you're not disciplined, you're going to fail. There's nothing worse than the undisciplined black male. And you'll always be unhappy, man. You'll always be unhappy. Happiness is not in the in between of a bitch legs. That's not happiness. That's only happiness for only mm, twenty minutes. Then it's back to your reality again. You're not doing anything to change your reality. We're not doing anything to change our reality. You know what I'm saying? You have to focus on discipline. If you haven't been disciplined your whole entire life, get disciplined now. I'm 39 years old. And I just started. Really, really getting disciplined. You know what I mean? I was disciplined before. But I'm really starting to look at the world for what it is. I'm like, God damn, man. If I'm not disciplined, I'll never get to where I, I need to go. I won't see the American dream. There's a lot of people out there that don't want to see you see the American dream. They don't want to see you see the American dream. They don't want you to reach the American dream. A, a house and a flashy car. They don't want you to see that shit. You know what I mean? So that's why people are getting fired. That's what, that's that's the reason why black men are getting fired at jobs constantly. Because if you keep a job long enough, you'll be able to save your money and start your own business and get to the next level. Because you need those lower those those low paying jobs to get to the higher paying jobs to get to the higher levels. You know what I mean? So, you have to make sure you're the most disciplined individual for, you know, for your family, for people, you know, out there. You no, know, nobody gives a fuck about black life, man. Nobody gives a fuck about us. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to sacrifice those things and believe in your heart that you could do anything that you put your mind to. It's all about mind, not down here, not, not, not about pleasing your dick. It's all about mind. My, 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 up here, up here. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that's going to get you over as a black man. Use your mind. Because if you're undisciplined, you go out, you party, and blah, 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 blah. But then, yet, you got fired from your job like 10 months ago. And you got this new job. Now you partying because you got this new job. No, it's not time to party. No, not, no, no party. You got to focus on getting to the next level, starting your own business, getting organized, writing shit down. You know, it's time to get serious because you got to survive. 
you have to survive. If you don't survive, then, you know, then your family is not going to be able to count on you. You know, exercise, diet. No, I'm going to go exercise right now. I got to lube up, though. I got to lube up. I'm, I'm old. I'm 39 years old. I got to drink some Gatorade and some water behind it and make sure I'm, like, hydrated before I go in there. Because I don't want to get, um, I don't want to get, uh, get, get injured. But your life is not like everybody else's. Your life is not like all these other races. Not even like Hispanics. You know what I mean? I tell you, man, everything look good when you haven't had sex in a while. Shit. Your life is not like everybody else's. Hispanic people got different life. Because their skin is lighter, they're going to get treated differently. You know what I mean? We got to lose the victim mentality. The victim mentality is like, oh, I'm black. Nobody's going to give me a, a chance. I'm trapped in the system. You know? No. You have to find a way. Just like I'm going to find a way. When people are not focused, who are not driven, you got to teach that to them. You know, once I get into the studio, I'm going to teach my artists to be disciplined and focused. You, you, you can turn any artist into a star. You know what I mean? They just got to be, their heads got to be in the game, and they got to be focused 10 times more than the average person. And that's how you'll be successful. It's through your discipline and hard work and something, you'll get something out of it. But a lot of dudes don't know how to keep their dick in their pocket. They don't know how to stay focused for long periods of time. And they, therefore, they end up happy and being discriminated against in the workplace. And it's going to continue in your life, your whole entire life. All the way until you croak if you don't change. Now, you're going to straighten up and get out there and start looking for your own way out, out of the matrix? Or are you going to stay inside the matrix and play the victim? Your enemies are coming from left and right and all sorts of angles. You have to do what your, what your dad didn't teach you when you were young. That is, struggle to survive. You know, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? He out here walking with that umbrella like it's a gun. He gonna get your ass shot. The police gonna shoot his ass. He walking around with that um, like umbrella like, like like it's a gun or some shit. And this bro, this this, this broad is taking up two fucking spaces. Only a black broad would do that, and she is black. But what I'm saying is, we gotta focus. What time? Is this? A, 18, 19 minutes, damn. Okay, um, I gotta get up out of here, but I'm gonna continue. I might, I might make part two to this, but this is serious, man. This is for your survival, man. You have to get out there, fucking become successful somehow, and whatever you do, and make that money. Before I end this video, remember that one guy who made that video about if you want to be successful and you know, you have to survive, or what he, what, what do you say? He was making that. Um, uh, he was telling a story about a guy who met this guru, and the guru told him that he needs to meet him at the beach the next day, right? Remember, the guru told him to come into the water, right? And, and the guy went into the water, and the guru, the guru told him to come into the water a little deeper. And the guru grabbed, and he went, he went to the um, water, deep, uh, he went to the water a little deeper with the guru. And the guru grabbed his his head, slammed it into the water, and the guy was struggling to breathe and stuff like that because he wanted to survive, he wanted to live, and he let go, he let go of the uh, the guy, 
and brought his head above, back above water. And and he said that just like you want to live, you know what I mean? That's when you become successful. You know what I mean? Just like you were struggling to live, that's when you'll become successful. Damn, I haven't had sex in so long. God damn. I'm looking at everything, man. That was a tight Asian girl walking by, man, with a nice, nice shape. Shit, this is what, it, what, this is what it's all about, man, being disciplined. And, and, and you know what? Because I know I'm going to get paid for it in the long run. I know it's going to pay off when I'm disciplined. You know what I'm saying? That's what it does. Hard work pay off. That's what you got to believe and you'll become successful. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like I, like I said, back to the story. The guru had him down up on the water. And he wanted to live. He wanted to live. You got to treat your goals like you want to live. I want to live. I want to survive. There's people out here that don't want me to survive. That don't want me to live. That want to take things from my children. My future children. I mean. You have to avoid everything. All the distractions that allow you to fail. And to live uh, an unfulfilled and ha unhappy life. I'm out.